Hello everyone. Projecting the downwall is really not that easy. Um, of course, I mean, I don't have to explain you. It's a 32 pitch uh, big wall graded 9A and with like 16 pitches 8A and up. So of course, projecting a, a, a big wall like this is really, really difficult. For me, there is three main challenges about projecting the downwall. First of all, there is skin and conditions. Um, so the downwall, yeah, it's granite climbing, it's very crimpy, it's really hard uh, on the skin. Um, and for me, it's very hard to know when I have to stop, when I have to come down, when I have to take a rest. Um, it's really important to manage your skin right. Uh, right now, I'm on a one day on, one day off schedule. Uh, that seems to work, although even then, I think sometimes I need like two days off. I try to climb with tape a lot when I'm not trying to send certain pitches or for the pitches that are easier. So 8B+, plus, 8B, uh, those pitches, I, I try to climb with tape a lot. The crux pitch for me is really important. I climb it with like pure good skin. A second big challenge about projecting the downwall is daylight. Um, right now we're like November, um, it's almost December. The daylight is very, very short. But we actually, I'm coming in this season because I need the cold. Ah, it's, it needs to be cold, but the disadvantage is that there's not much daylight. Um, even now, we have to climb in the shade or even at night. Um, we jog up and we start the pitches. The pitches are in the shade starting from 1 o'clock uh, to 3 p.m. even. Uh, and then it's dark at 5. So we have a very little window of daylight and then the rest is climbing at night. So the mornings are very chill and uh, we jog up, we take our time. Um, so this is very hard, it's very difficult. You cannot always choose when you jump on the project. And then the last challenge about projecting uh, the downwall is remembering the beta. It's 16 hard pitches and um, they, they are very similar. They really look like each other. A lot of like very hard strenuous laybacking with really complex feet. Uh, sequences and very complex like hand sequences and uh, sometimes you mix them up and it's very difficult because one day you're climbing on pitch 10 and then you're climbing on a lot of other hard pitches and the time you go back to pitch 10 for example you probably forgot the start of pitch 10 which makes it harder to to do a good try and arrive well at the crux so it's very difficult to remember the beta uh, a solution for that is uh, I write all the beta down, I have like all the notes from the gear, I have even drawings and this helps a lot. So those were the three big challenges for me on projecting the downwall.